this is my first hello of 2022. We are cruising with the Medway Yacht Club cruiser class up to Konya for the Easter Bank holiday. It's really cold. We started at six o'clock this morning. You could see our breath. It was so cold. Um, but it's nice and calm this time. <laughs> I'm going to have to tack in a minute, 3.8 We're all at the Sheppey Bridge. Um, we all have to like group together so he doesn't um, have to lift it up for very long. So we're all just bunching up. Um, we actually short tacked up this creek. What is this thing called? Uh, I don't know. The bit between an island and land. It's very narrow. <laughs> but we were all trying to kill time because there's not a lot of water yet um, for where we're going. So we were all short tacking up, which was good fun. I obviously helmed. I can't be doing with all that pulling every five minutes. It was ridiculous. So. So those of you that are regular viewers to our channel know that it's not often that Hannah's lost for words. But since we seem to capture this one on film, I thought I'd leave it in just to show it does happen. The little bridge was built first and then the motorway bridge was built after but the trains use this bridge so we have to wait for it to be lifted for us. So this is the bridge that separates mainland England from the Isle of Sheppey. It doesn't have an opening schedule, you just have to call them up on channel 10, call sign Kings Ferry Bridge and request an opening. It has to fit in around the train timetables and how busy they are. So I'm not sure if there's a normal, but for us, it was pretty much opening on the hour. So this is the creek that leads about a mile inland to the marina. I've speeded this up because it all looks pretty plain sailing with loads of water doesn't it? 
but it turns out it's really just a muddy ditch, only a couple of boat widths wide. But if you keep watching, I'll show you it at low tide a bit later in the film. So they've run aground trying to get into the berth, that's what happened to us last time. You just have to kind of push it through the mud. Hang on to it. We're just putting water out as well. That's how you call your engine down. I reckon it's hard standing down that bit. So these shots give you a sense of how wide or narrow the ditch is and how it winds its way inland but you don't really get a full sense of what you're dealing with. For that you need to be in the air. So thank you to all those that have contributed to the cost of this channel and helped us buy our drone. So from this we can see the two very distinct routes into the creek. The one on the right is often referred to as a route for shallow boats but from our experience Getting to this main piece of water that we're coming from, it's no harder than the channel that's on the left. But this is the route we used on the way in. You can see from the scars on the mud, plenty of boats go aground here, but it is one of the beauties of sailing on the east coast, in that going aground, as long as it's done sensibly, isn't such a big deal. You can normally get yourself off again. And even if you can't, you're sitting on comparatively flat, soft mud. The creek winds its way in. It's well buoyed all the way down. With clear markers, you just have to stay sensibly within them. When you're up close, you can still see the scars again from other boats that have recently run aground on the way in. And it's like this all the way to the marina. We were up here mudlarking earlier looking for bottles and things in the mud and we found a great bottle but it was too far out of reach so we've just been back and made a super long boat hook that will hopefully be able to snag it to get it ashore step a bit closer is he Churning the mud up, is it coming or not? Wait, I need to grab on to 
So the bottle that Izzy and Taylor pulled out of the mud was a Cousinier liqueur bottle. Looks like it would have had a cork in the top, but it's got an obvious seam moulded around the side. If anyone's got any ideas on how we can properly age it, please leave a comment down below. The good thing is because it takes 360 shots, yeah. you don't have to aim at anything, you just you just hold it in the air and then when you come to look at the picture, because it's filmed everything, you just look at the picture. So for Sunday lunch we walked into Tainham. Thought I'd just quickly show anyone else that visits this marina how you get there. The first thing is you have to walk out the marina and turn right up this path. You then pretty much just follow your nose. Or for you nautical types, you keep heading south on a bearing of 180 degrees. Anyway, there's a kink you have to do halfway up when you run out of track and the farmer's field gets in the way. It then narrows at some point. You then have to do sort of a 90 degree left. You walk past the fields with horses in, then kind of feel like you're coming into someone's garden as you come across a row of houses in the middle of nowhere. But from that point on, you find your way at the station. And once across the bridge or over the level crossing, you're in the road. Then just keep going south and you get to the main road in Tainham. Oh no! Oh. Got away, train! Oh. Just started as we got here. <laughs> so watch the train go by. Oh. Can we go over if we want? Oh yeah, go, let's go over. over. Let's go oh, over. Can we stand over We're here? not used to um, being able to go over. We were heading to the Dover Castle. We'd never been there before, but I have to say, it was brilliant. Our Sunday roasts were huge, all fabulous food, the service was great, in fact the overall experience was excellent and comes fully recommended by us. Hopefully, we're surrounded by pontoons, so we're not going to go anywhere. Well, we're, we're not even on, so we've done it yeah. by ourselves. Oh, very well. Where's the camera? Just the front of the pontoon. Okay. Yeah. No, we've not cleared yet. Yeah, gone. We can always just go into that one. So. Oh, you're definitely clear now. Yeah, it's good. Well, watch out for boats coming in now, then, don't we? Yeah. Thank you. Right, line to the fenders then. Yeah, yeah. But make sure you're hanging on in case we get too low. They said there was shallow by the barge, didn't they? Yes, yeah, stay away from the barge, didn't they? Well, we've seen it now, we've seen the channel, it's right down the middle. Steer, Hannah, and then we'll get set in the way off. Okay. Uh, that's easier said than done, Dad. Well, I'll do it if you want. I'll do it if you want. I'll do it if you want. 
So we've just left Konya and we're going to turn left at the Cardinal Boy but there's a boat coming into the channel we want to use and it only literally looks about one boat wide so we're just trying to slow down. <laughs> yeah. We'll see, we've never done it before. There's a little wivy in front of you, nearly underwater, see it? the bridge with about 20 minutes to go we're just debating whether to pick up a boy or whether just to hover around for 20 minutes I don't know Izzy's doing her homework she goes back to school tomorrow I only have one piece it's only uh, don't drop it I won't drop it I'm just gonna see <laughs> and Izzy is in year nine at school now and has left her homework till the day it's only back. one piece we've all got work and school in the morning which is going to be utterly exhausting <sighs> but okay we've had the most amazing time the weather for Easter in England has been brilliant hot sun obviously no wind which is a bit disappointing for sailing but can't have it all can you <laughs> anyway it's lovely to see you all happy sailing